I was very, very lucky in 2007 to be awarded a residency at the Kohler factory and the pottery. What an experience that was. I had this idea of doing a civilization that was unearthed in the Delta in Louisiana. The artifacts were all made of porcelain, and I'm working on the same figures, but now they're in iron instead of porcelain. When I was in pottery in 2007, I, I learned the hard way that it's not the technique I'm used to using. When I came to the iron foundry this year, it's very similar, so I felt a little bit more at ease. This exhibition that I did is called Cabin Land, and it had to do with two principal figures, which was a boy and a girl that were androgynous, so you didn't know which gender was which. So the objects I'm making here refer again to these two children. The chairs and the tables are all children size. There's a, a, a child's desk, and that's where the blackberry piles will happen on top of this desk. It's a little bit Jack and the Beanstalk idea, which is one of my favorite stories, because you put a seed in the ground, and it just keeps going, and it takes you to another world. There's another piece I'm doing called the fence, which is made of objects that I found antiquing here. I'm from New Orleans, and the love of antiques in New Orleans is normal because we live in a giant museum. So all my life I've been stunned by antiques. The environment here in the factory is overwhelming. I love the energy. It's very rare you find a factory that caters to artists. I've learned so much, but more than that, it's the interaction with the workers, the interaction with the factories, all these are creating this body of work that I'm making here. They are the sum total of all these interactions. Working in the foundry here is pretty amazing. The studio here is set up as a walkway for the workers to walk through. So you're constantly interacting with these guys and they're amazing people and you become friends with them and they're all willing to help. So I met Gary one time when I was out pet setting in the beginning. That has blossomed into a great friendship. He's very creative, and he also is inspired by the artists as much as we're inspired by their generosity. He came out and showed me a piece that he's making for me. That's just unbelievable that the workers become that close to you. Here.